pushing 70, November, 70 years. So the place opened in 51, my dad worked with him and bought it in 55. Uh, late 55, early 56, whatever, and uh, that family wasn't making a go of it. My dad knew he could make a go of it. And with the help of his accountant at that time, was able to come up with his down payment, and the rest is history. He had insight to what the place needed to be operated efficiently, and how to treat the customers, and what the customers wanted in that day. Obviously, the clientele has changed over the years. We've begun, you know, we've gone from being a Jewish immigrant deli, you know, with less expensive meals to a very well recognized multi ethnic clientele delicatessen right now, you know. So it's, uh, it's about keeping the quality up. People don't care about the prices. Uh, we do, but the people don't care about the prices. They just want their quality and they want to come in, get good service, clean establishment, nice people, and they want to be. Everybody wants to go where people know your name. You know? So. I started as a youngster visiting estate sales and garage sales and, and schmying through, you know, bazaars and whatnot. Everything that caught my eye, I would buy and I had no place to put it until one day I decided to line the base. And as the base got fuller and fuller, I decided to figure out how to, you know, get some stuff on the wall. So I had, a, I was very friendly with a Quebec artist. His name was Paul Bolduc. He would do a lot of work for us and do all the hand painting in our store and all the design. He was also a professional framer and a woodworker and he helped us create all the woodwork and all the frames and slowly built up the walls with everything I've been collecting and I'm still collecting. You know, I still look. I don't know why, but I still go and stop at garage sales and stop at estate sales and look around. Listen, one day at a time? I don't know. I don't know. Is there anywhere else I'd rather have been? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think the social aspect of being involved with this type of business for so many years and meeting so many generations of families and being known by so many generations of different families is, uh, is a very special attribute of this place. And uh, it, it's funny because I can walk in anywhere and I'm recognized and known simply from uh, the little delicatessen with the big name, with the big brand.